going to do some meal prep here and I'm going to make some chicken fettuccine alfredo and it's going to be keto and I'm using these new pasta noodles and this is the angel hair. These I like the best. They're like a thinner kind of like noodle because um, they do kind of have like a different texture than regular spaghetti and the key to this is you need to wash it really really good like i would wash it for like two to three minutes make sure you get your hand in there and just make sure that you give every little piece a good rinse all right so we will do that So here I have cooked some chicken. I just put some olive oil in it and these are the spices that I used. I used some olive oil, I used some Monterey chicken spice, some garlic, some pink Himalayan salt and some black pepper. So I did some batches um, for my family as well too, but I just separated my own. And we are just going to put this on low for right now medium to low and then I will show you what we will do next all right this is the sauce that I like using the Alfredo sauce the Classico and this one is three carbs per a quarter of a cup I'm gonna make two servings here so I'm gonna use um, a half a cup and fill that up and put it in with the chicken There we go, and we're just gonna put that whole thing in with the chicken. And we'll give that a stir. All right, so I like to add a few things to my um, chicken Alfredo just to make it a little bit creamier and to give me a little bit more fat because chicken is pretty lean and in this Classico, I don't think there's much fat in that. Yeah, 3.5 per serving. So I like to add some uh, cream cheese. I'm not sure how much cream cheese in, is here. I wanna say probably an ounce or two. So I'm gonna put that in and then I'm gonna put a little bit of um, the heavy whipping cream in there as well too. I'm not gonna measure it, sorry, it's probably I would say two to three tablespoons. And then we're just gonna stir that until everything is melted. All right, everything is melted and I also like to put some cheese in there as well too. I already meal prepped um, a keto pizza here earlier. I will link that recipe up above in the cards because I have made it before. All right, I'm just gonna add like two little handfuls of this cheese. There we go. And we're gonna mix that up. We turned it down to low now, now that everything is kind of melted. We're gonna get this cheese melted in here as well too. All right, perfect. So that cheese is all melted and it looks all nice and creamy now. So we are gonna add in our uh, new pasta and mix it all together. Make sure that that's all well drained. All right, and then we're just gonna mix that all together. This recipe is very easy. There's really not much to it. To be honest, since I'm using like a canned Alfredo, you can uh, make your own Alfredo, your own keto Alfredo. I have seen recipes out there. However, let's just say I'm not the homemade type of girl. All right, so this has been simmering for about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna divide it into two containers. All right, and there they are done up in the containers. These containers are a fairly decent size, um, and this pasta is really, really filling. 
So I would highly recommend this recipe. Like I said, it's really, really easy. Sometimes I add shrimp. I was going to add shrimp, but this is frozen. So I'm just gonna leave it as the chicken and really good meal and it reheats really, really good. So this will be good for the next couple of days for me. All right, and like I said, I have made this pizza um, before in, a, in another video. So I will link that video here. I usually, um, because the crust is pretty flimsy, so I usually um, just cut it up into like fours and stack it and I just eat it kind of like a pizza bowl. So I will put that in a container as well too. And I usually eat the whole thing for um, a meal. All right, I am also going to prep some of these. Um, these are the sweet, the mini sweet peppers. I'm gonna slice them in half and put some cream cheese and the everything but the bagel seasoning. I've been seeing that all over Facebook and a lot of YouTubers have been doing it as well too. So I'm going to test it out. I'm gonna half these and I'm gonna make a couple containers for me to take to work for the next couple days. So, this will just chop these off. Oh, they do have the insides. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we'll just scoop them out. Probably just like a jalapeno, maybe. Never had these sweet peppers before. I've always just had the regular red peppers or green peppers. So, I wasn't sure if there were seeds in them or not. So, we'll just half them and then just scoop them out. chicken fettuccine alfredo there and then I'm gonna have these and then I have the pizza but I need to I feel like I need to put some more veggies into my diet do you guys have a lot of veggies I'm not really a fruit person so that's why uh, keto doesn't really affect me with that I've never been a big fruit person actually I wasn't a big veggie person either to be honest but once in a while I do crave um, like a good salad. I'll pick up a salad from the store, like a pre-made one, because if I buy all the ingredients separately, I find I just waste it all. It all just goes bad. Um, my mom used to make, actually, um, a salad with every meal, but I don't know. I just was ne never a fan. All right, let's finish scooping these out, and then we will prepare to put the cream cheese inside. All right. So this is gonna be the cream cheese that we put in there. So we're just gonna scoop some out and then put it in there for now. And this one has one carb per one tablespoon. Now we will sprinkle with everything but the bagel sesame seasoning. And we will put into containers and we will have that with our lunch for the next couple days. And just package these up. 
All right, next I am going to make some um, breakfast burritos. I'm going to use these low carb Mama Lupe's and they have 10 carbs, seven fiber. So that makes them three carbs per tortilla. So I'm going to make just a couple just so I have it for the next couple days. So I'm going to make it with three eggs. Up of the eggs. They're gonna be scrambled. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good job, Jimmy. And all right, I am just going to um, toast these tortillas a little bit, just on both sides, and then we're gonna wrap these up. <clears throat> just uh, like maybe 30 seconds or a minute on each side, and we will assemble. I have the bacon cooked over here, and the eggs are done, and. Then I actually I made a, a sauce here, which is just mayo and some hot sauce that I will put on the tortillas as well. All right, I'm just going to cut up the bacon here because it's a little bit easier to eat when the bacon is kind of crumbled up. And we're also gonna put some shredded cheese on this as well too. All right, let's start with the mayo first. And we'll spread that on the whole tortilla and then we will put some shredded cheese on there once again this is a really easy meal prep they heat up really good as well too the cheese gets a little bit melted when you put it in the microwave all right, then we will do some of the eggs. So I just added a splash of heavy whipping cream to these eggs just to make them a little bit more fluffy. And I added some salt and pepper and some everything but the bagel seasoning as well too. And then some bacon, there we go. And then we will Roll these up and we will put them just in baggies. And I'm gonna put them with a paper towel as well too, just on the outside. You can just take those with our meals when we are away at work or where have you all right so there we have it there is our meals in the next couple days we have our um, breakfast burritos and we have our sweet peppers with the cream cheese and the everything but the bagel seasoning and then we have our chicken fettuccine alfredo in each one of these this is the same burrito the sweet peppers and then the chicken fettuccine alfredo and then in here is just the pizza bowl that I made as well, too. So like I said, I work for the next couple days, Wednesday and Thursday, and this will be perfect.